Top 5 AI tokens that might do from 100x to 1000x in the bull run, picked by me. Welcome back, my name is Tana, I'm the CEO and co-founder of a custom international software development company. We build products for the city of New York, SAP and General Electric. I've done more than $15 million in custom software sales. And on this channel, I'm sharing my journey on turning $500,000 into 10 million in crypto. In this video, we will go through top five AI picks that I picked myself and I see huge potential in them in the upcoming bull market with proper narrative as well. I will share some thoughts from a technical point of view, from the product point of view and explain why this narrative might and will surge in the bull market once we essentially see this giga pump that we all await. So the first one is Render. If you know, Render did a bunch of access already. So it was at 0 0.4 and right now it's at 3.6. I would not suggest to enter the position currently. I would essentially do the thing that I'm doing with most of my tokens, have three different allocations of cash with three different levels and probably some cash on the side as well to DCA in into the project. Because I think what we saw is just the first wave. I, seen that, I think that in the bull market, it can go just crazy. What is Render? Render follows this interval infrastructure narrative and essentially you are able to borrow and lend the power of your GPU on your PC to be able to give power out for rendering and for that you actually get a render token so it's a great utility for the holders of the whole thing and also it's a great utility for the users of the platform as well I do not envision a decentralized metaverse without something like, like render as well I think once metaverse narrative will catch up this thing will just surged and pump like crazy because it's AI, it's gaming, it's metaverse, and it's also decentralized infrastructure. I do like a lot tokens where we have combination of the narratives, combination of all these things in one. And I think this thing is just crazy. So right now it's at 3.6. So it done like two, maybe three X at the top in the last couple of months. So it, it's quite nice by itself. For some reason, I thought that it recently was at 0 0.4, but, but we did not see this type of prices for a year already. So very, very nice position, more on the safer side. And as far as you know, I don't have like tokens of this market cap in my portfolio. Like the largest one I have is Luxa, which is around 350 million at this stage. So this thing is at 1.4 billion currently. So it's definitely limited upside here, but I do think that we we should see a major correction in the market in the year of 2024. And the main thing is to have cash for this correction. So you actually would be able to enter the position in terms of the tokens that you want. And Render, I think, is actually one of the top tokens in my list in terms of the projects that I would want to DCA in on this correction as well. I do not have a position in the token currently, although I think that I would have a chance to get a nice entry. And in crypto, entry is just everything. Like it's very, very important in terms of the entry, in terms of the price of where you're entering. Imagine you have a token and you enter it at $1 instead of you entering the same token at $5. If the token reaches $100, per token, the guy who entered at $1 would have a 100x. The guy who entered at 5 bucks would have a 20x. So it's just crazy upside if you get good entries on good projects. That's why bear market is very, very important. And that's why it's very, very important to stay focused once we essentially would see the correction, the whole thing. Next thing, Echelon Prime. So it's also a combination of narratives. So I'm kind of following my thesis here that if we have a combination of narratives, since people in crypto, they mostly trade based on narrative and promises so like real projects they don't get they often don't get like a lot of re recognition and things like that it's marketing and it's narratives when you have combination of narratives on the token it's generally a safer bet if you can't call anything in crypto a safer bet so it's generally a safer bet in terms of inputting some money on the combination of narrative echelon prime is essentially a gaming platform it's a game and they do have implementation of ai so imagine world of warcraft imagine skyrim and i i'm sure you, you already saw these videos in terms of like tiktok and shorts and youtube where people integrated ai for their companions in skyrim and they essentially already talking to them about different things they can ask questions about the lore of the universe i think it's essentially the future of gaming just imagine that you would be able to play 
in some type of the universe where it's played to earn. So you actually can make money from playing, from kind of farming very like legendary items and then selling them for multiple tens of thousands of dollars. On top of that, you have NPCs with AI. That's just crazy. And if they would be able to, you know, figure out their own plots, like behave themselves as real people, understand the risks, understand like risks of death and things like that. It's just this new world and the whole thing in the metaverse on top of that. I think like that, that's just the future. So if you would like kind, kind of combine render and prime, it's just crazy from like gaming point of view, from the metaverse point of view, from the things that might happen in terms of this future. I'm, I'm very, very excited about this future. I'm a gamer myself, gamer, not gay. So, and I would really, really enjoy something like this happen, especially if AI would be able to work following the lore and the narratives of the universe, like knowing the lore of Warcraft, for example, or like Elder Scrolls and essentially doing things in connection with this lore as well. So very, very simple and straightforward bet here. Gaming plus AI, very, very nice combination of narratives. Both of them are projected to be one of the most performing ones in the bull market and the bull cycle then of 2024 and 2025. 220 million market cap, so quite large at this stage. So I would also probably not be looking to enter at this level. I think we might revisit 3.2 at the major correction and maybe we would see some around $7, some around $6 in the upcoming correction when the market would correct, when BTC would correct for 20-30%. If we would see higher correction of BTC, I think we might go as low as $4, 3.2, so it might be a nice entry for yourself as well. So just crazy. Just imagine a game with AI NPCs. It's a whole different way for the game development as well, because you can just put NPC into certain position, like provide prompts and outline what is the backstory, background story of the NPC and how to behave. And then like this whole thing would, would work by itself. So it's just crazy in terms of the things like that. And games like G- GTA, for example, they're very popular for this reason as well, because it's a live world. And if you would be able to have an AI implementation there, it's just crazy, just great crazy from my point of view. I think it might be a very, very nice bet in terms of the entry and in terms of the moving forward. So even if you would be entering currently, I think you would see way higher prices at the end of 2024, 2025. So if you really like the project, you can just allocate like a portion of your money into this project currently and then actually be able to DCA in as well. From my end, from my point of view, I'm planning to enter later. I think this is actually second peak in terms of all of my tokens. So not just AI, but in terms of all of my tokens that I would want to get into, that I would want to essentially buy. And fully diluted market cap is only 4x higher than uh, the current market cap in terms of the current circulating supply. So it's not that bad because there are tokens with worse situation in the tokenomics as well. Third pick, a very, very bullish narrative by itself. NQAI, so they recently changed the name and they recently rebranded. In simple words, they're putting chat GPT on blockchain in decentralized and uncensored way. Listen to this one more time. Decentralized and uncensored chat GPT. It's crazy. Like if something like if they would actually be able to put this out and provide like working product and things like that. And by the way, they already have several AIs. And if you're a holder of the token, you can use some of the AIs that they currently have on, on the website and in terms of the things that they are building. So I actually entered it on the first of January when everyone was with the hangover after drinking, I do not drink. So I was able to enter at 0.01 right here. So it's almost ideal entry after this pump, if you would actually see something like this. So I would say that this dump is not very healthy in terms of like this dump and this pump after that. It's quite interesting in terms of the chart and things like that. But it's new talking. Things like this, they might actually happen. And they like vision, the narrative that they have, even if they would have like a smaller version of the product, which not be working which will not be working ideally. There are very, very smart people on Twitter that are saying that token and product that would be able to put decentralized chat GPT on blockchain, uncensored, 
is the one that would run like crazy, just like crazy. I'm actually happy I have a position on this thing currently. I think it's around 10K at this level. So it's 7 million market cap in terms of the funds that I have. Maybe it would, it would run to 1 billion, 2 billion, 3 billion. We will see if this thing would find product market fit. I definitely see that this is possible because the narrative for this thing is crazy. And in terms of all of the tokens that I'm providing, narrative, the core thing is narrative. And it's just crazy how good the narrative is around all of them. So if you like the narrative, if you like the project and, and if they check mark, like if you, if you have all the checks in terms of all the things that you like about the projects, last thing that you need to take care of is your entry point. Therefore, on some of these tokens, current entry points, they might not be ideal, but I think that time and market, they will present opportunities to entry these things at the lower levels. Next thing is Mosaic. So basically it's AI based yield. And if you were here in the last bull cycle, if you were here at 2021, if you lived through DeFi somewhere and the things that happened after that, DeFi just became crazy and everyone was looking where they can put their stable coins and the tokens to increase the amount of yield that they're getting. And the meta, the things that were happening there, there were certain projects appearing on the market that were working in a way where people would essentially be putting their capital into a treasury and then this treasury would be putting this money into different new DeFi projects farming yield on this project and very very interesting thing with new DeFi projects that when they were launching when they were small there was not a lot of people in these tokens and they had crazy APR and crazy APYs in terms of the percentages that they were providing me myself I was farming a bit of B-Swap and they were providing like 700% return on a monthly basis and things like that. And there are these things happening in crypto with the new DeFi projects. And if you can actually automate this thing, which happened in the last cycle, so you would actually put your money into treasury. So you would buy the token of, of, of the project. And then this project would be yielding in different DeFi ecosystem and different DeFi projects for you. On top of that, if you would be able to apply AI there, so AI would understand and know which ones are the best to put money in currently and which one are the worst currently so you should probably take money out at this stage so it's combination of AI and human essentially overseeing the whole thing from his end I think this thing will run and surge like crazy because it's kind of works like as as this scheme as well because people put more money in they see nice yield they make more money and they essentially on top of that they might be putting more money into this whole thing as well and on top of that the money that they have already it's increasing so therefore essentially they will be growing the market cap of the token and the price of the token as well crazy crazy narrative in terms of this thing it surged like crazy on the last cycle i think this is something that will happen currently as well we can check the website nice website in terms of the click to enter and things like that pretty interesting i i would say not the best user experience but yeah, in terms of the background, in terms of how everything is, it's very authentic. So it's not the user experience that you would see on a lot of websites. Very, very nice from this point of view. Great project, great narrative. So last but not least, Purple AI. So this thing, I actually got called by someone I know and they also recently merged. So if you see here, you only have history from 5th of January. So it's only from two days back. However, I got called initial token for 200 solid market cap. So it was 15 times less than currently and actually put one ETH into this token at that stage. And I sold. We saw a correction, it was not moving much, and I decided to sell. And after that, as it usually happens, this thing did a 15x. So currently it's 15x from the entry that I had, but unfortunately I sold on the correction, so I don't have any funds into this token as well. It's basically AI project, and they essentially providing customized image generation with the project. Customized, personalized visual content for the project with AI that you train, make, and configure, as well as other blockchain tools. So it's very very interesting that train make and configure because the, with the current products on the market with chat gpt and other things like that you actually don't have the option to train make and configure a, a lot like your configuration ends at the stage where you are working with your prompt but you do not have the option to feed some information and things like that therefore i'm pretty bullish on this project they have a very nice team as well in terms of them constantly delivering communicating as well and the guy who called me this token 
he's actually looking to buy more at this stage. And he did like a 10 or 15 X on this token as well, which is quite crazy by itself. One important thing in terms of the last tokens that I was showing, if you would check the market, you can only buy this on Uniswap. If you would check Mosaic, you can only buy it on Camelot because it's on Ar Arbitrum. One of the bullish things in terms of this token is that it's on Arbitrum as well, which is layer two for Ethereum. It has lower transaction fees and it will pump larger when Ethereum will pump eventually as well. Therefore, like it's very, very interesting pick for Arbitrum as well to get exposure to this Arbitrum thing. I do really want to get into most of these tokens that I am showing here. I do want to buy Render. I do want to get into Echelon Prime. I have NQA AI already. I do want to get Mosaic. In terms of the purple, I would see in terms of entering the position, it may be on the lower correction, but it's probably the token that I know least about at this stage. I think it's just a great pick because I trust the guy who called it. He called it in the first place and he was able to do 10x on this token as well. So coming back in terms of how you can actually buy NQI, because if you would check the market as well, you could you would also see that you can only have it on Uniswap and by Lexi. I'm not sure what by Lexi. So the process that I wanted to share, you have the contract address here on CoinGecko, for example, you copy the contract address. Then you go on the Uniswap, right? You click select the token, you paste the address of the token, you click, yes, I understand. Because I, I, know, I do know English, I do know how to read, so I understand. And the same thing with CoinMarketCap. So you have the address of Arbitrum. However, it's different chain, right? It's layer two, it's not Ethereum. So you go on Camelot. All right, so you can just Google Camelot DEX, right? You go here. By the way, be, be careful if you're Googling any, anything with crypto because you might just be on the phishing website as well. So it's also a DEX. It's actually a DEX on Arbitrum. I had, I think I had 10K worse in this token of, the, of this token as well, but fortunately I sold for Sparta. So you just enter and you here have Mosaic and you can buy with the Ethereum from Arbitrum chain and how you can get Ethereum in Arbitrum chain, you can basically send Ethereum from any exchange and just pick an Arbitrum network and make sure to pick Arbitrum one as well. So and with the purple is the, is the same thing. So you can only see it on the DEX tools and following this example, it's an Ethereum. So therefore we are using Uniswap here. It's a very simple logic. If it's Arbitrum, you're using DEX on Arbitrum which is Camelot. If it's Ethereum, you're using Uniswap, which is DEX on Ethereum. You enter purple, yes, I understand. And then you can essentially swap your ETH into Ethereum. You can swap your USDT and things like that. So these are my five picks. I think all of them might do very, very well just because of the combination of the narrative. I am less confident in purple AI just because of the fact that I've done a little bit small amount of the research in terms of this token. But it's showing a 10x, it's quite healthy. That means that the team is delivering. That means that it's probably not a scam. They also did emerge recently, which is quite bullish for a token because people who would be checking out this token, they would not see that it has done a 10x already. Therefore, they might might have a higher chance of actually buying this token. And again, it's a new thing. So, and, and new things, they are often like shiny objects. So people would want to get into them, buy them and things like that. This is it from my end. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Like and subscribe if you like the content and see you the next one. Bye-bye.